ODM party is not having it easy in Mombasa in the race to succeed one governor, Ali Hassan Joho. Well, we know very well that ODM did not conduct nominations for the governor seat. They had what we call negotiated democracy, where two bitter rivals, one Suleiman Shaba, the billionaire businessman, was asked to step down for the Mbita MP, Absurd, Abdul Somad Nasir, and he accepted. And now the candidate for ODM, and to a larger extent as Miola Umoja, for Mombasa governor seat, is one Abdul Somad. Now the matter has not settled well with Suleiman Shabal supporters, especially the residents of Mombasa, the corporates, the rich businessmen who feel shortchanged by ODM. They feel like Sharif Nasir is not the right candidate for them. They want Suleiman. And we have seen them even getting emotional, saying that Mombasa as a city has been neglected for a long time, that they have been singing the ODM's song for a long time, and they have not seen any change. The economy of Mombasa is still lagging behind. And remember, Governor Joho is under ODM, and now they want to get another governor under ODM, whom is not getting unanimous support from all the people of Mombasa. They feel Shaba as a business mogul is the right person to grow the economy of the city. And we have seen them getting very emotional as they ask Suleiman Shabal to go independent and defend his seat. And now this will beg the question, what will become of this race for ODM if Shabal runs on an independent ticket? Hello! Nataka kumambia Suleiman Shabal alikuwa akitaka o governor na nguvu anazo mbona hakusima mamonyele atutafuta sisi where did you look for us where did you find we look for us to tukufanyia campaign uli tutafuta tukufanyia ili uwe governor wa Mombasa elected by the people of Mombasa Chagua kuwa wewe watakuja Raila kama ni hivyo ungetuitia Raila kwanza Na kama ni hivyo ungewaita hiyo timu yao kwanza tukakaa nao sio wamuzi wako uwe ni wamuzi wetu no na no, haiwezekani uwezi kutupeleka kislevaris let us not forget that UDA also have their candidate, one Omar Hassan, who was a former senator for Mombasa under Waipa, and he has categorically stated that he will win this seat very early in the morning if you run against Abdul Somad, for he says that Somad is a, a junior to him in politics. And he could be right. And now with Suleiman Shabal in the race, the ODM vote, or to a large extent, Azimio vote will be split, giving leeway for Omar. Again, we have another spoiler. One, Mike Sonko, who won't run under Weber ticket. We know Sonko is a populist, and he's causing ripples in Mombasa with thousands of young people coming up to support him. You know, recently he opened a, a modern club there in Mombasa, and this is causing ripples 
among the young people. And this will complicate the situation. But WIPA, the party that is sponsoring Sonko, has its own problem. We know there's a man called Ali Bong, Boga, the Kisauni MP, who claims that he has a direct ticket to run for governor of Mombasa and a WIPA. But the, but the vice chairman of WIPA, Juan Mutula Kilonzo Jr., claims that no one has a direct ticket, that there are yet to be done nominations who select their flag bearer for governor in Mombasa. So the big question is, what becomes of this race if you have so many race guys running and the only opposing guy is Omar Hassan? This will mean that Azmiola Umoja or ODM will not have it easy in Mombasa and their so-called negotiated democracy will be a loss to them. Probably they should try and intercede. The Laudinga should go back to Mombasa, talk to Mike Sonko and Suleiman Shabal, tell them to support Abdul Somad, and in the hope that their support or their basis will bring the vote and maybe promise these guys some other jobs. Others leaving this seat in the open, the way it is, it will be so easy for Omar Hassan to win, and it will be a major win for William Ruto, bagging a whole city of Mombasa. And that will boost his chances of claiming kingship in the leadership of this country. That is all. Kindly like and subscribe this channel.